So we're on the first sector, which is the uh, Townsville to Darwin um, Air North, um, and he's looking good. He's um, been talking. Um, we've had some food in the lounge, um, drinking in lots. Uh, had some nachos, which is um, rare. He hasn't really eaten anything other than uh, fruit. So um, we're talking about positive uh, conversations and uh, and about the hard yards ahead and his flight. But this is the, the flight that gets him to the station that we will get him home. So it's all positive news so far. How are we feeling right now? Glad to be where? In Darwin. Darwin, in a bed. Yeah. Okay, uh, how was the flight, honestly? Did you struggle? Uh, had some back pain, but it was okay. Yeah, yeah. You looked pretty good, mm. then you toughed it up. So, uh, toughed it out, so yeah. well done. So we're at the Darwin Private Hospital. Uh, this is phase two, going off to uh, off to London very soon. He's had two days rest. Uh, we've carried out our full procedures to make sure he's all ready for this flight, no issues. Uh, and he's looking forward to it, uh, a little bit uh, upbeat. Uh, I've spoken to Qantas at length and we've got our captain, Todd's gonna be our t tonight's pilot. Uh, um, there's no one else on board the flight, so it's just us um, to the whole aircraft, uh, which is unique. I don't see this very often, um, so um, we're off tonight. Looking forward to getting there. So we're four and a half hours into the flight. We're just coming up the top of Malaysia, and he's doing really well. So he's been exhausted uh, on takeoff. We uh, went to sleep straight away. Uh, we've given him uh, a little bit of endone uh, and a little bit of paracetamol, uh, and he's looking great. So um, he's uh, just been turned. Uh, he's pretty bony, so all the pressure areas are at risk on a commercial flight. Um, even though it's business class, there's still the hard foam. Um, so he's got the eggshell uh, sheets down underneath him and he's got uh, lots of padding and lots of pillows from in flight plus the blanket. So we're pretty happy with the progress. Looking forward to him uh, getting, uh, getting some more sleep. Uh, it's a big day tomorrow coming into London. So we're uh, just over the top of Kabul in Afghanistan, which is where he originally uh, was born. Um, we've uh, got another six hours of run. He's had his morning medication, so it's at 7 a.m. in Australia, so we keep on his uh, Australian time. Um, and we'll flip him into the UK time on arrival. So he's um, been comfortable. He's not required any significant further analgesia. He's had routine every uh, four to six hours, uh, and that's kept him reasonable. Um, Positioning is always a bit of a question, and it's hard to know. We take photos to demonstrate that uh, his feet are not touching anything, um, and his backside's been sort of adjusted with pillows underneath it. And uh, look, to the best of my knowledge, his, 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 his sacrum is looking unchanged. We've had a quick look, uh, it's very difficult to assess in low light and altitude in a tight space and environment, but uh, you do your best. Well, I'm in my hotel quarantine, so I've done a phone handover with the University Hospital in Coventry. Uh, as you can see, this is the uh, second busiest airport in the world, still at 25% capacity. Quite devastating after 19 weeks of lockdown in the UK and 15 months of COVID. So the patient arrived, um, I've done a handover, gave him about 20 minutes of uh, just sort of the background story and some of the more the detail nuances of his care back in Australia. Um, we wish him and his family all the best and really do hope that um, this is this is a, a new opportunity for him with his family support and to take him through that both mental, psychological and that physical recovery, which is going to go on for months and years. So it's a big change in his life and we do wish him the best. There's a bit of a, a, a big thanks to the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade um, for putting this on DFAT and also to Qantas uh, and for assisting us in that direct repatriation flight. That was pretty novel for them to do it as well. Um, University Hospital in Townsville for preparing the patient. Um, we also have to thank Darwin Private for taking over for a couple of days in our transition between Townsville and Darwin. Um, we also have to put a big shout out to Booper, which made it happen. And ultimately, there's someone that has to assist and fund this and, and, and can see the bigger picture. And, and, and getting him home and getting him uh, back to his own family support uh, was the best health outcome for him. So thanks very much to everyone and their assistance. And we wish the family all the best.